Good morning from Germany. Here is Dr. Travel. And today I would like to give you 10 precaution tips if you would like to visit Colombia. And as you might know, I got scoped in Medellin a few months ago. And since it happened to me, more than eight American tourists died in Medellin. And only two days ago, a blogger from the Philippines called Francis Kendia walked into the same trap. Oh, so far, all is well, and I'm thankful that I'm alive. Uh, I came in uh, Colombia because I want to overstay. Many people asked me if I still would recommend people to visit Colombia, especially Medellin. And I would say yes, definitely a yes, but you need to take precautions. That's why I would like to give you 10 very useful precaution tips in your hands. And if you plan to visit Colombia, you don't need to be scared because if you stick to these rules, you will be safe for sure. And Colombia is still a very beautiful country to visit. So let's start. And all these tips that I give you today are similar important. But we start with rule number one, which is don't walk around like an easy target. So yeah, for all the guys outside, uh, build up a good physique because this prevents uh, enemies or attackers from uh, hurting you, definitely. And also don't wear obvious bling bling jewelry or um, brand clothes so that everyone knows that you maybe have more money than uh, the criminals. So just walk around like a normal person maybe don't wear flip-flops and shorts because this uh, makes it very obvious that you're a tourist but if you have uh, like a decent jeans and a normal t-shirt no one will uh, focus you immediately okay now rule number two which is don't walk around with too much cash in your pocket I mean, this one is an obvious tip, but still important to mention. So if you walk around in Medellin or in Colombia in general, I think you shouldn't take more money with you than you necessarily need. So I guess uh, 30, 40, 50 dollars is more than enough. And if you get robbed, you can only lose the money which you're carrying with you. Rule number three would be cross the street if you see suspicious people. And what do I mean by suspicious people? If you see people tumbling or if you see people that are obviously drunk or under the influence of drugs, which can always happen in Medellin, try to cross the street. Don't walk on the same path like them. Rule number four is important if you go out during the night time in Medellin, if you party, if you go to a bar, never lose sight of your glass because you cannot taste sc scopolamine. It doesn't have a specific taste. You won't notice if someone put scopolamine in your drink. Never lose sight of your glass. If you lost sight of your glass, I would recommend you to order a new drink. But don't leave your drink and go to the toilet and come back, stuff like this you should definitely avoid. Rule number five is, if possible, don't walk around alone. I was alone when I was in Medellin and you guys know what happened. So if you have a friend, a partner, whoever, it is always more secure if you walk around with another person, especially during nighttime. The following five tips are more technical tips, but we continue with Rule number six, which is delete every single app that you don't necessarily need on your cell phone, including bank applications, sensitive data, saved passwords, delete everything which you don't really need. You can always install the apps when you leave Colombia, but while you're in the country, I would highly recommend you to delete every app that you don't need. Rule number seven is don't use face ID or fingerprint to secure your phone because as you might know, 
they used the Face ID while I was under the influence of scopolamine to unlock my phone and to have access to all my safe passwords, to all my data. So it is always safer to have a four or six or eight digit password. And again, when you leave Colombia, you can always change, uh, change it back to Face ID or fingerprint. But while you are in Colombia, I would highly recommend you to not use Face ID or fingerprint. Precaution number eight is if you have one, take a burner phone with you. This is, I think, an iPhone 8, so probably worth nothing. But if you have an old phone, just take it with you so you can keep your um, main cell phone at the hotel. You don't need to carry it with you. And on the burner phone, you can install applications like Uber or Google Maps so that you can navigate while you're in Colombia. And if you get robbed, you would only lose the old phone, which is worth nothing. Tip number nine is if you need to <laughs> take your phone out of your pocket, for example, if you want to navigate, it's always recommended to do it when there are no people around or if you have a wall behind yourself. So yeah, that the chances are low that people walk by or um, I don't know, kick you and take your phone out of your hand. I mean, if you're carrying a burner phone with you, it's uh, it wouldn't be such a big deal if you lose it. But uh, especially when you only have one main phone with you, I would highly recommend you to only take out your phone out of the pocket if there are no people around. And rule number 10 is obviously don't use any dating app while you're in Colombia. No Tinder, no Bumble, no nothing. You know my story, so I would highly recommend you to not use it. It's not worth it. And if you're in Central America or other uh, South American countries, I can recommend you to inform yourself before you go into these countries I had no problems personally with online dating while I was in Central America, but you never know. So please inform yourself. But for Colombia, it's a clear no go. Yeah, these were the 10 precaution tips from Dr. Travel. I hope all my viewers are fine. This is a live video. So I'm currently in Germany preparing my next trip. I plan to go to Iran because I'm half Iranian. But due to the current situation with Israel, I think I have to cancel the trip. My flight would be tomorrow. It's a bit too risky. So I think I will directly fly to India. So be excited about the upcoming content on this channel. But until then, I will continue with posting my final videos from Peru. So see you in the next video.